Hey, come here. I, I, I want to show you something. Okay, look, everybody makes fun of me for getting these, but you're a genius scientist. What do you think? You know, Jerry, I'm not going to tell you that these will increase in value or even hold their current value. The truth is, you bought them because you like them. They have value to you. That's what matters. It was very right to start off the video with that particular clip, especially with the recent price action on Bitcoin. Many believe that we will be seeing gain, we will be seeing reversal of the price action towards 4.5 and 5k levels, but as you know, something else happened. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin, as you can judge by the title. Bitcoin is dead. And is Bitcoin dead? What do you guys think? Many people who are involved in traditional financial markets and also media outlets have been labeling Bitcoin as dead many times. 339 in fact. And still, they can't get rid of it. It does show me that, that the crypto space is not the most loved space on the internet. Bitcoin was labeled as dead 339 times. And most of those deaths were in, surprisingly, 2017, when we've seen the all-time high of $20,000. Top people in investing, like Warren Buffett, has been critical of Bitcoin, and he called it a rat poison. It's funny he says that because his tech investments are not his most profitable. So when it comes to tech, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on Warren to speak the truth. Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud that will eventually blow up. And Paul Krugman says Bitcoin is a basically a Ponzi scheme. But let's be real here. These guys, alongside many other people in the financial space and media outlets, have been labeling Bitcoin as dead pretty much on a regular basis. And it hasn't happened. And uh, Bitcoin is still here with us. Many have referred to it as people's money. And I do support that claim. I'm going to link this article to you guys in the description below if you want to go through all 339 deaths of Bitcoin, if that's what you're into. Reddit seems to be a busy place with memes about crypto recently, especially because of the price action. World's strongest man contest. I hold Bitcoin from 20k. <laughs> so strong. That's very accurate. 2018, bear market. 2019, Hopefully. Hopefully, guys, we'll see 2019 as the year it all turns around and we get rid of the bears. This is a true story. <laughs> Panic traders. So you know that time when we were at around 6k levels for weeks and months? We were all bored. Nobody could trade Bitcoin. It seemed as a never-ending story of $6,000. We did see little pumps here and there, but they all failed and we went straight back to 6k again. We're all complaining. Would you like to see a 6k Bitcoin now? Well, I would. That meme pretty much sums up the last 12 months in the space. I would love to hear your thoughts on what 2019 has in store for the cryptocurrency space. Are we gonna see more bear attacks or are we gonna get rid of the bears and fly to the moon? Is the moon mission back on? This is it for today, guys. Bit of a different video. I think it's a bit of a shorter one as well. Before you go, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos coming out. I keep saying daily videos will come and I'm still working on it. So, I mean, my last video was two days ago, so not too bad, right? Stay subscribed. I will see you in the next one.